Hello friends, this is Shrines and it's time for Trails of Cold Steel, The Legend of Heroes. But I thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think, I do always appreciate it. And it is time for midterms the next day. The first of our four grueling days of midterm exams began. Oh, all drill questions, okay. Eterbonian history question. The Middle Ages War of the Lions was brought to an end by Emperor Drysels. When did the war end? When did it end? July 9, 952? This should be the right answer. Oh, good, good, good. I'm scared of military science. This one must be art. She's an art teacher. Art question. Mr. A wants to draw a rough colored watercolor image. Which of the following styles would be most appropriate? Okay. Sketch, dressing, crocus, tracing. Not tracing. Crocus was the quickest one. Dessin takes a while. I guess a sketch, right? Yeah, I'll try sketch. This should be the right answer. Good, good. A new day. Ah, oh, Professor. Oh, okay. Military science question. Figure one depicts a military formation. What type of unit is currently advancing? Not infantry. That was an X. Command we didn't learn about. Engineer was like an upside down Yama symbol on the left. Armored? Wait, no X. Wait, infantry? I don't know. Maybe those armored. I'm gonna say armored. This should be the right answer. Mister, I don't care. Just get a good, kind of good grade. Teachers here. Orbital science question: The following statements about orbits all purport to be true. Which one is not? Abilities change based on chords. That sounds right. They synchronize with their user. Definitely. Allow arch users without a chord. No. Orbital energy recovers over time. Okay, yeah. So Maki has talked about the three parts of the orbital science and. I don't think that was it. Right answer. Can I get a good grade? Oh, the vice principal. Political economics question. Of the following laws enacted last year, how am I supposed to know that? Which came into force first in Himidal? Guide, help me. No. <laughs> Initial Criminal Law Act? Oh, that seems like it should hopefully be there for a while. Imperial Public Transportation Act. Provisional Taxation Act and Financial Transactions Act. Imperial. Last day? Final day. A Saturday. Oh, Sarah's administering one. Whoa. Combat studies question. Emergency CPRs divide into roughly four stages. Oh, okay. Check the person is breathing. That's a good one. Check if they're conscious. Perform chest compressions and rescue breaths. That's gotta be near the end. Call for help in a loud voice. Put these stages in the correct order. Shouldn't you call for help in a loud voice first? Okay, so... I picked that last time and got it wrong. So what should I pick now? Let's see, check if they're conscious. Oh, call for help. Check if breathing, perform chest compressions. That might work, let's try that one. Please be right, yes. This should be the right answer. Wonderful. Congratulations on making it through the four days of exams. And what do you know? It looks like the rain ended right along with them. 
Clearly, this is Goddess's way of rewarding you for all your hard work. I don't think that reasoning would stand up to scrutiny. Phew, I'm totally spent. It's over. <laughs> you worked really hard, Fee. Oof. Anyway, today's a free day, so take the chance to unwind and blow off all that pandemic exam stress. They'll post the results next Wednesday, so take it easy until then. But don't relax too much because you've got your next practical exam next Wednesday afternoon, too. Oh, great. Ugh, with all the intensive studying, they've forgotten about that. You could stand to be a little more conservative when the timing of your announcement. So next Wednesday is when we'll know where we're going for our next field study? Yep, you'll be shipping out that weekend for another exotic trip. Anyway, make the most of tomorrow, everyone. You've earned at least one day off. Hmm. I guess I'd probably attend club practice once in a while. Oh, and one more thing. I got some things to take care of out of town after we're all done here. I went back home tomorrow night, so don't, like, run the dorm down while I'm gone or anything. Okay, we'll just flood it. Midterms are brutal, like normal. Never been fond of midterms or finals. I hate when classes only have those as your grading scale, that's not fair. I once had a class that only had a final, I was like, are you joking? That was so evil of them. Give me chances to do well. Hopefully Rain scored a high score on that midterm. Oh, what the group? What a group. <sighs> now that the exams are over, I feel free as a bird. And they'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Oh, we know you did well. <laughs> just, just stop before you embarrass yourself. We'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Well, they didn't argue about something. Yusus and Makis are getting along. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... She's going to meet her secret lover? Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. Wow, Yusuf, that's harsh. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but that personality and that lifestyle... You guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Breen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? Of course. That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after holding up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Oh, good. More helpers. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? Yes, where is Gaius? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? The principal? Gaius better not be in trouble. Yeah, wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. You seem worried, Emma. Very, very worried. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but... Is uh, Laura and Fee having trouble? Do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so too. It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far... No luck. I 
Wonder if that's what that was all about. What do you know, Machius? Spill the beans. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. And the blast over that other door that had a lot of explosives on it. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Now, now. Getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Well, well, guess what's gonna make things awkward anyway? Huh? It's Sharon. What? Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. It's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? What are you doing here? She didn't. Mother didn't. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. Will you now? Interesting. Sharon Kruger. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household, Lady Elisa's family. Reinford, that does sound familiar. Oh, yes, the Reinford company who made her Arcus. That's them. I will do all I can to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. Chapter 3, Beyond the Railways. Ooh. A new day, Sunday, free day. A beautiful, bright, sunny day. Whoa! Oh wow, she cooked. She cooked good. Wonderful breakfast. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. So this is what Elisa's been used to her whole life. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. I think she's less than impressed that Sharon is here in the first place, but okay. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her! I'm not going to let her have her way this time! My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. 
She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself, thank you very much! Oh, fine! I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office of corporate today, or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. I can't wait to go to Ruhr. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman, too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous! Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? <laughs> I mean, stop treating me like a child. You got so excited. Though, yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. She knew exactly what to say to Elisa. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. That was pretty cute. After beginning the day with Sharon's peerless breakfast, members of Class 7 were left to go about their daily routine. Meanwhile, Reen went to check the task the student council had given him for the day. That was pretty cool. Obtain student council tasks for June. Oh, two required and one optional, I guess? Old Schoolhouse Mystery number three. From the principal. This month I would like the members of Class 7 to commit themselves to their noble academic pursuits. Though I know, studious as you all are, I can expect that anyway. So on top of that, I'd like you to continue your exploration of the Old Schoolhouse and report your findings to me. From the principal. Will do. Born to be Orbel. From George and Alicia. Oh, I'm sorry. From George and Angelica. We're testing the Orville Bikes capabilities on a highway near Trista. If you're curious, come talk to us in the engineering building. Will do. The secret admirer. From Vincent. I'm in need of aid. Some fair maiden has sent me several messages claiming her love for me. And who could blame her? I simply must know who she is, so would some kind soul help find her and bring her to me? More details by the storage building. Vincent Florard. Year 2, Class 1. Ah. Him. Hey, request from George and Angelica. It's about the Orwell bike, too. I wonder what they need my help with. Looks like I have to swing by the engineering club before I head to the old schoolhouse. Ooh, this is the first time I've seen a day, so I might as well make the most of it. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it, do it. Okay. I guess no one's in here, right? Someone's around. Is it Sharon? She's over here. They'll say hello. She's in the kitchen. Looking away. Take care of yacht, Masterine. I shall be sure to prepare a tremendous feast for all of you while you're away. I'll be looking forward to it. By the way, is what happened this morning pretty indicative of how things usually are between you and Elisa? At a glance, it seems like you were arguing, but if paid attention, you could tell that wasn't the case. <laughs> Precisely. We have been together for quite a while now. As such, it's relief to see that she's very much the same as she always was. Hmm, Sharon seems to know how to handle any sort of situation. Including Elisa. I can see why she has no trouble doing for Lisa, at least. Please come to me should you have any requests. I'll do everything I can to accommodate your wishes. But since you're such a close friend to Lady Elisa, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. That was cool. Let's go out to town. Oh, computer room. Is it unlocked? It is. You're the only one in here. I do want to hear about your family. Huh? Isn't this classroom usually locked? 
It is, but I checked it out on a whim and it was open. The janitor must have forgotten to lock it when he was done. I see. So it brings you here. I got into arguing with Ferris earlier. She started asking me all these questions about my last name after she found about Sharon. And you ran off here. Uh, how many times am I going to deal with this? Seems pretty upset. Maybe there's something I can do to help her out. Not spend time with Elisa. I'm probably not the best person for this, but do you need someone to talk to, Elisa? It's better to let these things out than bog them up. Reen. <laughs> Thanks. Oops, I knew I forgot to lock up. Wait, what? There we are. <laughs> you locked them in. I go knock on that door right now. Wait. Did he just lock the door? Seems like it. I guess we're locked in. My luck keeps getting worse and worse today. At least it's not nighttime or anything. I'm sure someone will come by before too long. Th that's true, but... Uh, so it's just, uh, Reen and me, here in the dark, behind a locked door. No, Lisa, focus! Ah, uh, this is all Sharon's fault. It wouldn't even be here if Ferris and I weren't arguing about her. Isn't that a bit of a stretch? You wouldn't say that if you knew her. She always does this. Imagine living with someone who knows nearly everything about you but never thinks about your feelings. And on top of it all, she's always taking Mother's side. Like she did when... When what? Oh, I... Sorry, I shouldn't have tried to pry. Easy. Even so, you don't really dislike Sharon, do you? I mean, I guess I can't say dislike. It's kind of hard to dislike someone who's been a permanent fixture in your life since you were a kid. See what I mean? If she's going to be at the Academy anyway, you might as well try to make the best of it. Besides, she's sort of like an older sister to you, right? So everything's not always easy to get along with. You're right about that. But still, it wouldn't kill her to think about me a little more. <laughs> not a moment goes by in which I do not think of you, Lady Elisa. She's gonna unlock that door. Go Sharon. But Sharon, what are you doing here? Whenever you're in need, I shall be by your side. After all, isn't that what an older sister is for? <laughs> she knows how to make an entrance, I'll give her that. I can't believe she heard all that. Oh my, I didn't interrupt anything personal between the two of you, did I? I'll be more than happy to lock the door again and leave the two of you too. Whatever it was you were up to in here. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Sharon's awesome. Your bond of Lisa strengthened. Uh, link level three. Yes. Me and Lisa reach link level three. Ooh, cover. <gasps> she can do auto tear for him. Nice. Need cover for her. That's awesome. That was cool. I really can't let my guard down around you, can I, Sharon? Whatever. I'll let you off this time since you unlocked the door for us. <laughs> I'm gonna do any lock for your sake, Lady Elisa. After all, I want you to think of me as an elder sister. Oh, stop! That is embarrassing! <laughs> I would do anything for your sake, Lady Elisa. After all, we've been together for so many years. We're practically family. Yes, you are. Who else is around here? Everyone's over here. Art room. It's probably Gaius. Our midterms give me a chance to come up with a clear image of what I want to paint. I'm not planning on spending anything to contest or competition for now, though, so I'll focus on painting for myself. Oh, I can't bond with you! Everyone's running around going about their test scores like they're something important, but in the end, test scores are merely numbers, and as such, they're inconsequential to my art. Inconsequential. I'd planned on cleaning the club room up a little bit now that I've finished grading exams. You can imagine the surprise when I came along to find everyone already here. Truly, nothing can make a teacher happier than to see their students so dedicated to their work. Yep, they're all here. Maybe decided it'd be a good idea to compete for the highest exam scores. He claims to have special punishment in the store for whoever loses. So now, this new exam stress, I'm terrified about whatever she's planning. Great. Your sister's a hoot. Home ec room. Oh, Nicholas. Lately, Marguerite's been putting more enthusiasm to her cooking. Is it because we're done with exams? 
Oh, either way, you won't hear any complaints out of me. Time to make some new cookies for my next encounter with my darling Vincent. Ooh, ooh, what should I add to them this time, I wonder? Oh, add to them? Like, hope you're talking about chocolate chips and stuff. Laura, let's chat. Oh, hello, Reen. It's rare to see you by yourself. What's up? <laughs> I actually found myself rather interested in the store's wares, so I decided to browse for a while. I'm surprised at how enjoyable it's been. Should I join her? Sure. It's fond of Laura a bit. It's been a while. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Feel free. Maybe this would be a good chance to have you tell more, me more about the things being sold here. <laughs> well, I don't know all that much about them myself. Hmm, they have a wide variety of items here on display, most of which I'm unfamiliar with. Which leads to a question I'd like to ask you, Reen. What sort of goods and accessories do you girls my age tend to like? Uh, what? I ask because, well, I've noticed that there's a significant difference between myself and the other girls here. For example, I went shopping with Monica recently, only to find myself searching for equipment to keep my sword in shape. Meanwhile, Monica was fawning over cute accessories and the like. Doesn't this prove that I'm rather strange? Well, you're from a different class background for one thing. That's the difference between you already. But even amongst the most no other nobles, you're a little bit different. Just as I thought. But this is of no issue. If there's something I lack, then all I need to do is to take the option to learn. Now tell me, which of these items here would most likely grab a girl's attention? I mean, I'm not exactly an expert on this subject, but... The doll. The Mishi doll. Rin grabbed a cute muscat plush that was sitting on the shelf. How about this Mishi plush? He's a pretty popular character over in Crossbell. Fascinating. He is certainly charming, to say the least. But how about this? Laura grabbed a strap of blue-haired, muscular man attached to it. This Dogie character has a rather gallant look to him, doesn't he? Oh, Dogie from, uh, Adol's Games. East. Nice. I'm 100% sure that most girls wouldn't have any interest in him. Uh, oh, that is more challenging than I expected. That was cute. Rain and Laura ended up looking at an assortment of products that to Laura's unique taste. In the end, though, they ended up purchasing the Mishy Plush. I couldn't be more grateful for your assistance, Reen. If it weren't for you, I never would have purchased something so nice. <laughs> Not a problem. Still, my grasp when other girls my age likes remains tenuous. It seems I have a long and harsh path ahead of me, if ever to truly know. You know, you don't have to force yourself to be like everyone else. Because you aren't like everyone else. You're who you are, and that's exactly why we like you. Hmm. <laughs> you give me a lot to think about today. Let me thank you once again. I'd like for us to go shopping again if you ever have the time. Sure, that'd be fun. That would be awesome. Woo, that was a good wink. Good upgrade. I'm going to end this episode here, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do always appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Bye.